Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wheelchair Wednesday Chat. Um, today, I wanted to address, you know, I'm getting more and more notifications about people who have lost their wheelchairs because their car was stolen or their van was stolen and because they left their wheelchair uh, in the car or in the van um, and we know how much those wheelchairs cost and how much we treasure them and we value them when we have them. So, um, you know, it's, it's a big struggle to have to recover a chair like that after all the adjustments and things that have to be made to those chairs, uh, the weeks that we waited to get one, or maybe even the months. So um, the best I can recommend is you have a big, very large alarm on your cars, <laughs> or um, I really can't recommend that you leave wheelchairs and cars or, or vans um, due to the fact that we have a lot of carjacking going on uh, throughout the United States. I know that in third world countries also it happens that cars are, there's a high percentage of cars that get uh, carjacked. So um, leaving, leaving a wheelchair uh, in any shape or form uh, is, is a risk. And I understand that there might be very good reasons to leave a wheelchair in, in a car. You know, like the next morning you gotta take off or you know, you don't have a ramp in that particular van so the wheelchair just stays there or you know, so many reasons. However, um, I think it's cheaper to get a ramp for your van or to bring it into a garage and have it adapted rather than having the car and the wheelchair stolen. Um, I feel really bad and, and, and my, my heart sinks every time I get a notification that you know another family has suffered the tragedy of um, their van being stolen uh, along with the wheelchair. So I have to kind of put some two cents into this, you know, that I would strongly recommend that uh, people keep their wheelchairs in their home. It doesn't mean that the wheelchair won't get stolen from inside the home either, but I think there's a higher probability that your wheelchair will be safer in the home. And you might say, well, I just don't have a place to put it. And um, I understand that as well. But I think that we need to make all the efforts possible to have the wheelchair in, in, in a little corner somewhere in your home. I think there's less of a probability of the wheelchair being stolen. Um, you know, if your car gets stolen or the van gets stolen, you know, you can always try to you know, get a, a, a special van to come pick up the, the person uh, or a school bus. You know, most of them are uh, adapted already with, with a lift. Um, there's, you know, there's where there's a will, there's a way. And I think that I would want everyone's wheelchair to be, to be safe. Um, whether you're in the hospital and the hospital is keeping the wheelchair safe for you or whether, um, whether you know, I, all I can, one of the things I can recommend from, from the bottom up, let's start from the bottom up. First of all, you know, that wheelchair needs to have a tag on it that has your name and who it belongs to and phone numbers and everything else. I have it on the back of my wheelchair. Uh, let me see if I can reach it. Oh. Oh. It's not quite. <laughs> but anyway, I have a metal ring <laughs> that has one of the, it screws apart. And I have a couple of tags there, but the first tag is kind of like a rubber tag and it says metal equipment. On the other side, it has my information. So they can, you know, call or whatever. If I'm ever separated for whatever reason from my wheelchair, uh, they'll know, you know, who it belongs to. When you're in the hospital, 
you know, they put a tag on it, but it's, it's always good and safe to have your own tag on it just in case that tag, they, the staff forgets to put the tag on or um, the tag falls off or gets yanked off or gets caught on something and falls off. So, and especially for traveling, it's also good to have your own, uh, we also have to have, you know, forms filled out and all that kind of stuff for our wheelchairs, but have always your personal tag on it that can't be easily taken off. So that it has your name, your phone number, your email, whatever you would like on there, just so it identifies you. So ID, always have an ID uh, attached to your wheelchair. And you might say, <clears throat> but Lisa, you know, um, I'm always in it. <laughs> I sleep in it, you know, I'm in it. And it's true, but you never know in what incident you know, you might get separated from the wheelchair and um, the personnel or whoever needs to know who to call, you know, to, to get it back to you. Um, I know I have other conditions in which, you know, I could be separated from my wheelchair and I could be placed in the hospital somewhere and then, you know, um, I just have to hope that they tag my wheelchair and they put it in the right room <laughs> it gets back to me uh, so so tagging it putting some identification on there okay so that's that's like really number one um, number two you know keep it safe I know that uh, some of us uh, some people out there are um, they use a the wheelchair part-time so they can get up and walk a little bit and get back to the wheelchair or they can function well in the home, but when they go out, they need the wheelchair. So uh, they're ambulatory wheelchair users. And so <coughs> if you are in a restaurant or whatever, you decide to go to the bathroom, the bathroom's right there, so you get up and you walk to the bathroom, um, you know, make sure that somebody's gonna be watching out for that wheelchair. Uh, unfortunately, you know, Wheelchairs can be coveted either um, due to, you know, for the metal or because that person is just desperate to get a wheelchair for someone they know. So uh, it's ridiculous, I know. It's, it's horrifying that thought that someone would get up and steal your wheelchair, but um, <laughs> It is the world we live in, so we have to be careful with our wheelchairs in, in one way or another. So having it tagged, being careful that if you do walk away from that wheelchair in a public place, that someone is watching out uh, for that wheelchair. If you're in the Olympics or whatever, and you're a Paralympic, and, and you're going to be in a different wheelchair when you go out to the races and stuff, make sure that that wheelchair is in a safe place locked up <laughs> so somebody just doesn't walk away with it. Um, by the way, the Paralympics are in France in 2025, no, 2024, <laughs> sorry about that, 2024, so hopefully we can cheer them on, and we wish them well, because they're practicing a lot right now for the 2024 Olympics. Uh, anyway, keep your wheelchair in your home, not in a car or in a van, um, it, it just doesn't work these days, especially with all the carjacking that's happening. So I, I can't recommend, I can't, I can't recommend it, that anyone, any one of us leave our wheelchair in, in the, in the car or a van. So find a place, you know, if you're, you're an ambulatory wheelchair uh, user and you drove to that location, you say, oh, you know, I just, don't want to deal with it, you know, if I need it, or whatever, I'll just leave it in the car, and I'll leave it here in the, in the parking garage. I, I, I wouldn't do that. I would take the wheelchair out, bring it with you in the hotel, uh, and, and just use it a little bit more than you usually would. Uh, just keep that chair under your butt. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, truly, because it, I would hate to see anyone, you know, go on a vacation and you're having all this fun and all of a sudden you come back to the hotel after a meal and the wheelchair is gone. So um, I would strongly 
keep it very near to you. Um, I, you know, and if you know of a family or a neighbor or a cousin who has had an incident in which their wheelchair was damaged or stolen or, you know, uh, help them do some fundraising. We know how expensive these chairs are and hopefully, you know, we are lucky to have a wheelchair to start with. In other countries, they don't have what we have here in the U.S., but in other countries, they just they just don't. So um, we, we just have to really treasure what we have and uh, appreciate it a million times over and make sure that we keep everything, you know, in a, in a safe place close to us. And uh, I'm really sorry that we have all this carjacking going on. Uh, I'm hoping that the authorities will be able to figure out um, how to handle our problems with carjacking these days. So uh, let's see what happens. But those are my recommendations. Have it well labeled. If you go on vacation, uh, and you drove to the location or was just nearby, keep that wheelchair under your butt <laughs> so it doesn't roll away on you. Um, if you fly, make sure that you follow all the recommendations from the DOT, from the Department of Transportation, and for the airlines. Right now, we know that the airlines is really struggling to keep our wheelchair safe and in one piece. So. They stated they'd be working on that really soon to help uh, the, the teams and, 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 and staff to, to really put some more effort in keeping our wheelchairs in one piece. Um, and there's a, a whole bunch of things that you can do to keep your wheelchair in one piece as you fly. Um, so, and that's another video all on its own. So, uh, that is all I had to say in terms of safety. I, I just, you know, my heart sinks every time I hear a wheelchair was stolen. <laughs> it's like, that's like stealing somebody's bed or, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Not to you and not to me. But there are little things that we can do. So, and that I have listed already. So, I'm hoping you all are having a great weekend, and I'm truly hoping you have a very good week, and I'll see you in the next one.